you know I get super excited, okay? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I am Sheree, welcome. And if you are returning, I appreciate you and thank you so much. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you some unboxings of some amazing fragrances. Some of them I've just added back in my collection because I had ran out of them. Some of them are new that I have picked up that I wanted to try. If you wanna see what I got and what I'll be spraying this fall, keep watching. Why does it feel like this camera is like all in my face? Hello, excuse you. You guys, I'm trying to do something different with the lighting, so tell me if you're able to see a difference. Anyhow, a lot of you asked me what I store my fragrances on. I'm gonna show you today how beautiful and gorgeous is this. It's all mirrored and it is glass and then it's bedazzled because you know I'm extra and I love things extra. So it has these beautiful things and it spins, okay? So I put this in my closet and then I store my fragrances on it and then I just spin around, see which one I wanna wear for the day and then I pick it up and spray it. So generally, whatever season it is, that's what I'll typically put on this particular tray. I have other trays as well, but this is the one that sits closest to my vanity so that I can spray according to fall. So if you wanna see how this looks, I'll show you at the end. All right, let's get started. Let's start with this one. You know how I feel about Chanel Beauty Online, you guys. I love ordering Chanel Beauty Online lipstick makeup um, hair sprays uh, deodorant sprays anything because I love the packaging who doesn't love it to come to the door I have a whole video on unboxing this so I'm gonna do this quick so that we can just see what it is here is the box it comes with a nice little dust bag inside filled with some samples today's samples that I got was like um, I think it was fragrance, but fragrance that I'm already going to show you. I get the samples because they're perfect to take on vacation and that way I don't have to bring the whole bottle. And if I want, I could change my fragrance every single day. So I like to take these on travel. Uh, you can gift it to yourself or someone can gift it to you if you gift it to yourself or you receive it as a gift. It does come with this cute little envelope inside and it just says Chanel. You can write yourself a note. You know she writes herself a note, okay? Write myself. What did I write to myself today? you're worth it, it's a vibe. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the note I wrote to myself. You're worth it, it's a vibe. She's a whole vibe in herself. I think we should all think of ourselves as a vibe. Then it just comes with a nice little seal right there that says Chanel. All right, I'm over it, let's just open it. I'm not gonna go into the notes and all that different kind of stuff today because I'll probably come back and do a dedicated video to all the different fragrances and I'll go into notes and different things like that. But today I'm just gonna share with you what I got and why I got them. I went with Coco, oh my God, I want, here I go. I went with Coco Chanel because I've wanted this fragrance for so long, but when I first smelled it, it just smelled a little bit, um, I don't know, I just didn't know where to place it at in my life. It felt so fancy and so rich and so luxurious and so everything like that. And I was just like, really, am I ready to go there yet? And hello, she is. So I picked up this one and I always tell you guys, I always go with um, the smaller one. This will probably last me two years because I'm only gonna wear it around the fall and I typically go with this size. This is it here. This is what it looks like. This smells so good and so rich and so classy and so old world now you have to be willing to go there it's not i don't think it's for everybody i definitely think it's an acquired fragrance i definitely think that you know it's one of the darker ones it's a little bit heavy it's perfect to me for fall winter and it's just like for those cold nights you're definitely wearing all black it's a sexy vibe but it's like a some would say a mature woman but i don't really get mature i just get a woman who knows what she wants a woman who knows where she's going a woman who's not you know you're not going to be able to just tell her anything and she's gonna fall for it okay she's she knows some things she's been some places you know she's seen some things she's not easily impressed you know she's like I've been here before I've done that okay this is this woman right here I'll be back and I'll do notes and everything like that and longevity when I had a sample the longevity was pretty good but then again I loved it so much I did apply it again and again and I'm a heavy sprayer so it did last on me all day long but it's an amazing fragrance so if you're looking for something and that's your kind of vibe I would definitely recommend this this is nothing new this is a classic from Chanel another one I picked up would be Coco Chanel Mademoiselle and that would be the intense version I picked up this one as well only because I already have Coco Mademoiselle but I like that in the day like I said that's my Sunday fragrance I'll wear that to church I'll wear that out I'll wear that you know for a girl's day I'll wear it forever but the intense version is a little to me a little bit more sexy or a little bit more heavier deeper I find it a little bit more sensual and I don't oh god 
something in it maybe citrus i don't know but something more mandarin just something is just a little bit more but this is such a classic scent you cannot go wrong i know tons of people that use the regular coco mademoiselle as their signature scent i spray different fragrances every day and i always spray according to how i feel and what my mood is and what my outfit is and what my accessories are so I could never really have a signature scent because I'm always reaching for something different and that's why I go with the small ones too because I don't want them to go bad this will last me for two years I won't spray it every day but gosh it's good this just brings back so many memories if you want me to do a comparison between the regular Coco Mademoiselle and the intense let me know I will say this one is a little deeper darker heavier sensual sexier and the other one is your everyday anytime anywhere any place both are heavy you're gonna stand out wearing both both women are sexy both women are regal both women are bosses and that's what I get from Coco Mademoiselle intense so I did pick that one up as well another one that I picked up is is this one here this I actually got at the boutique I didn't order these and they wrapped it up so cute with the chameleon and I love how they wrapped it because I told them I'm a girl for packaging so they were doing the most and I saved these oh my god should I Shrey don't start <gasps> oh my gosh that could be a look Okay, get into this. That could totally be a look. Back to the fragrance review. I mean fragrance. And so I picked up this you guys. This is Chanel Chance and this is the ed perfume this is in the 1.7 fluid ounces i'll put all of these fragrances as well as the links for them in the description box below but this is chance this is like original chance this is the ed perfume this smells so, so good it's so classy all of these fragrances are so classy and so elegant and so sophisticated and ladylike and that is this one here this is like they have the chanel uh chance e fresh the green one as i call it then they have the uh the pink one the pink one is too sweet for me i have the green one it's very fresh i like that one and then out of all three of them or the all the chances this one is my absolute favorite i love this one it just smells so classy it's so ladylike it's just a perfume that just makes me feel i like fragrances that oh yeah oh it's so good they're all so good and they're so me. You know what I mean? That's why I say fragrances are so subjectional and they're so personal. Like what do you look for in your fragrance? I look for two things. Make me feel rich, fancy, and classy or make me feel sexy, a boss and feisty and sassy can I be all those things in one fragrance you can and that's what I look for my fragrances to do I do have one that I'll be sharing with you today that's a little pretty a little romantic very whimsical very girly I have my days that I like to be like that too but not too often either I want to be fancy foo foo la la rich classy you know that's just the smell I go for or I want to be sexy sensual dark oh you know one of those so and that's what this one is giving me so I like this this puts a little bit of both of those worlds in when you're thinking about this one so I really do like this one this one um is not new like I said these are ones that I'm just replacing none of these are new I knew what it was when I signed up I knew what they smelled like and that's why I went back and replaced them again Chanel in case you haven't noticed is my absolute favorite fragrance house ever although I've been smelling a lot of new fragrances lately and and I'm just saying there's some good fragrances out there but Chanel is still holding my heart you guys I want to share with you this now for those of you ladies who have your hair long hello excuse you links locks um, clip-ins sew-ins wigs weaves units whatever you call it these days nothing smells better than when a woman walks past you and she does this or she puts her scarf on or she takes her jacket off or whatever she does and her hair moves and her hair smells good I love for my hair to smell good I was spraying perfume in it and then I found out that they had perfume for your hair and I was just like okay I am so here for that so I picked up this this is actually a exclusive hair perfume and it is Chanel number no. five now Chanel number no. five was not a fragrance that I was remotely wanting I never wanted that in my collection I smelt it and I said that was a day and a place and I know it's iconic and I know it's classic and I know it's timeless and everything like that but it's not for me now number no. five low I have that one and that one is in my collection. I generally wear it spring, summer, but I wanted something from the era, so I got the hair mist. It's a lot lighter and it smells beautiful. And I just, oh my God, I was super excited because, you know, she loves anything exclusive. Exclusive, expensive, fancy, foo foo, la la, she's here for it. That's me. So this is the hair mist. 
this is what the box looks like and it just says that it is the Le Parfum the Hair Mist. And that's what I, oh I love this, I love it. So let's open this up and see what this looks like. I looked at it online, um, I picked it up in store but you can order it online, I checked and it's pink. How cute is that? And this is what the hair mist looks like. It's pink, it's pretty, I love the color of it, and it's just like like when you spray your hair mist, you know, you don't spray it on your hair. You do it like the water sprinkler system, so you would just take this out, and let's just say we sprayed it up like that, and then you would just walk through it, and just let it fall down, and oh, oh my gosh, that's good. You would just, oh, that's a nice sprayer too. My goodness. Oh, that's vit. Hello, Sheree, excuse you. You don't have enough to waste? You're right, I don't have enough to waste, but you guys, that smells really good. So if you, maybe you don't like Chanel Number no. 5 to wear as a complete fragrance, but you still like it a little bit to just have it in your collection like myself, go with the hair mist. It's really nice. And it smells good. It smells just like the fragrance. It just smells a lot lighter. For those of you who watched the video, Idol, Adol, I have a complete video on this perfume on my channel already and it is amazing I absolutely love it I bought this upon first sniff fell in love with this have a whole story time on it on my channel and I just bought it exactly well actually I didn't buy it right then I left went and got my nails done came back then went and got it but it smelled that good I absolutely love this I did want to come back on I seen some of your questions you guys try and go in the next time you're in there and your mall or your local uh, Lancome counter and go up to them and ask them if they have a stand because this is really hard to sit up I have uh, heard people say it has fallen over and it's very thin so it's very easy to crack some people say that you can lay it down like this and that might be helpful but I wouldn't trust it I would just lay it flat on its surface you know it's very thin however I did want to share with you I said it in that video and I'll say it again this is recently new that I've added to my collection as well and like I said I have a whole video but this smells amazing you guys if you want to smell sweet but you know yet classy you want to take something from night to day or day to night this would definitely be a way to go this fragrance smells so pretty so gentle so soft so pretty it's one of those girls where you're just like you know you're just whimsical your hair's down you've got some lavish curls maybe some big bright lashes you know hello excuse you okay these lashes are doing the most I already know but I was here for it anyhow this fragrance is gonna do that it delivers it's so pretty but it's still sensual and I love the meaning behind it you want to see it go watch the video if you have it if you have watched the video already then you already know how I feel about this here it is so this is the stand and this stand just holds it up like that so I'm gonna put that right there okay and then they gave me a ton of samples a lot of you asked Shrey where do you get samples from how do you have samples I'm not buying every single fragrance I fall in love with I always get samples when I go and buy fragrances I always ask for samples when I want to try something new when I want to sample it out if I don't have a store near me that has a sample then what I'll do is I'll go online I'll order a sample or I'll call and ask if they can send me a sample because I need to see if I'm gonna really like it before I purchase it and not everything that I like am I going to purchase some things I'm just like oh that smells nice and I like to do it with you guys so that if you have any that you like for me to review I can review them for you and give you my opinion as well so I have tons of samples in here a lot of these I believe are fragrances that I already have. I'll be taking them on vacation. Um, this is Paris Brits. Am I saying that right? Brat? Brits. I think it's Brits. Brits. Something like that. I need to try that one. I don't think I've ever tried that. This is Chanel Exclusive Gardenia. This is Gardenia. Um, I already have that. This is Coco Mademoiselle. Intense, so I'll be taking that one with me. Coco Mademoiselle Intense, this is another one, and then this is another one. So there's just tons of fragrances, samples that I use. I love, you know, all things fragrance. Oh, and then to tell you guys too, I showed you this on the other video as well. This is Maison Francis Kirkjohn. This is the body oil. You guys, I'm in love with this fragrance. So I have ordered it, and it should be coming soon um, because I fell in love with it. And now I'm obsessed, it's so regal, it's so, when I put this on, this changes more than just how I feel. It doesn't just, it does more than just transports me. It makes me feel fancy. I love fragrances that make me feel fancy. They're the one thing that you can elevate your outfit, take you to the next level. When you walk past somebody, you give them something to talk about. I always tell my class in boot camp when we're doing like 200 squats, I'm like, when you leave out of the room, 
they're gonna talk so give them something to talk about give your butt a nice tight squeeze lip and when you give your fragrances on and you walk beside somebody or out of the room or into a room or whatever you do then make sure you give them something to talk about you smell nice thank you and if you smell someone that smells nice tell them I always tell people you smell amazing what are you wearing I won't hesitate to give you a compliment tell you you smell good tell you you look good whatever I just feel that you know the more we say that the more people feel confident they know that they're fragrance is doing the most or it's doing enough you just give somebody a compliment there's nothing wrong with telling another woman I don't know about telling another man because I don't want him to think I want him I already have a guy but um I'm huge on giving compliments to women um this here if you have not tried it it's amazing you guys so if you're on the fence about this fragrance you can order it I'm gonna come back and do a review as soon as mine shows up but right now I have the lotion and I have the body oil and they're both amazing I'm gonna put that right on the vanity well or on my case and is that it I think oh no, no no oh my gosh wait a minute I love Jo Malone Jo Malone's fragrances are amazing um this one let me tell you a quick story time because you know it wouldn't even be me if I can tell you a story uh, it wouldn't even be me if I couldn't tell you a story time I'm gonna make it quick I was in Vegas I received a sample I had sprayed it on because I take the samples with me when I go on vacation so I didn't have anything in my makeup case that I was looking for that I wanted to wear so I came across the fragrance sample that I got from Jo Malone and I sprayed it and I was like oh my god it was in August it was a bit heavy for me for August but it was one that I had so I just kept wearing it but the more that I let it sit on my body and dry down I fell in love with it and I was like oh my god this is gonna be so perfect for the holidays I'm going back to pick it up and that is none other than Ta -da! look at that packaging hello she loves a good packaging this is here oh they put more samples in there Ooh, can't wait to see what those are you guys it is pomegranate noir oh again with the noir so this one here is coco no coco this one right here is pomegranate noir still in the noir family you guys it smells so good but you have to like pomegranate i'll come back and do a full in-depth review on you know what's in it and everything like that the only thing about jo malone fragrances are they're not very long lasting or they don't last very long so typically i normally buy the body cream or the oil that goes with it just to ensure the fragrance lasts a little longer i didn't know if i wanted to do that with this one yet I want to see how the longevity is because when I wore it in Vegas it lasts a pretty long time I mean I was able to smell it that's how I fell in love with it and then I went and got it this is a smaller one they have three different sizes this is a, a one point fluid ounce yeah a 30 mil but this one's really good I'm just gonna spray it so I can get my life and remember how the notes smell and they have it on their site as a fruity woody or something like that I guess I do get fruit but the I don't know if it's a cinnamon I get a little spice I get a little something sexy and sensual in it I think I want that in all my fragrances no but seriously I am getting a little bit warm sexy sensual with this and this is um noir pomegranate and the thing about the Jo Malone fragrances that I really like is that I'm gonna mix this with wood sage and sea salt and that's gonna smell so good I love mixing their fragrances and layering them it just makes for a beautiful scent I kind of feel like I'm creating my own scent in a sense so when somebody asks you what you're wearing you could be like my own mix thank you very much and then you could tell them what it is but if you have not smelled this yet you guys I highly recommend it it's really really good so this is how I would keep my fragrance I keep it on a nice little swirly tube like this and I'll go these are just the ones that I got this particular uh, trip and then I'll go and put on some of my other fall ones that I like on here as well and that will be that on that you are the real MVP thank you for showing up and watching my videos every single week to all of my new subscribers welcome and thank you so much follow me over on Instagram I do a lot of polls if you have any fragrances that you want me to cover make sure you let me know in the DM all right that's it it's a wrap until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye